What is up, amigos? Today we have something pretty interesting. This is a guide on how to solo farm 28 Karazam ballroom mobs in 3 minutes or less. This farm, as always, will be dependent on RNG, but you can expect upwards to 400 gold per hour if you're lucky, geared, and consistent. Let me first say you must be geared to do this. No ifs, ands, or buts. You have to, and this is not a meme, kill the mobs before they kill you. The biggest mistake I was making when I was first learning how to do this was trying to avoid and kite way too much. First and foremost, your best friend aside from your holy hurricane of death aka divine storm is holy wrath. This does a good chunk of damage and stuns every mob for 3 seconds giving you room to breathe and giving you a little window to DPS freely. Use Arcane Torrent as you see fit because Searing Pain plus Immolate that the mobs cast do crazy amounts of damage and if multiple hit you in one pull, odds are you're probably going to die. I usually burn Wings aka Avenging Wrath and my Battlemaster Trinket on the first pull. The second pull, I usually pull an LOS and immediately Holy Wrath into DS. If I see mobs casting Immolate or Searing Pain, again, I will Arcane Torrent them or Hodge them. These mobs periodically will cast Goblin Cannons. You can just kite away from them. I don't like staying near the top of the stairs when they do so. Um, I also don't like playing the pillars because sometimes you'll catch aggro from the servants. Now the last two packs, all you have to do is rinse and repeat. This time you won't have Arcane Torrent, so try to hodge off cooldown. And if you get into a jam, make sure to utilize the Divine Protection, as it does reduce all damage taken by 50% for 12 seconds. And unlike Divine Shield, you deal your normal amount of damage. And honestly, that's it. This farm is pretty quick and easy once you get the hang of it. Sometimes you, you'll get RNG'd and you'll die from the Serum Pains or the Immolates, but... Once you get the reps in, it's a consistent raw gold farm. So that's it. I'm still working on mana tombs and septic halls. Those, believe it or not, are more tricky than I'd imagined. Right now, we are revisiting an old Paladin classic, and I'll upload that video in the next few days here as well, because with the current inflation prices plus enchanting on my tune, it's made me upwards to 500 to 600 gold per hour. It's pretty insane, so until next time, happy farming, amigos.